you'd be walking down the street and you know some stupid person will honk their horn and say, get your uh, at which point normally if they weren't so expensive I would actually get them out and throw them at the windscreen. Hi, I'm Cookie Monstar and this is what I've learnt in my 22 years of drag. I was a very young 27 when I first started doing drag. I was about to train to be a nurse and I went to see Madonna and I just thought to myself, what am I doing? I can't become a nurse, I've got to become a performer. I went to see RuPaul in New York and I just thought, wow. When I decided, okay, this is what I'm gonna do, um, I went to a shop and bought my very first dress and my very first wig and my boobs and my shoes. Popped the shoes on, sashayed across the floor and I thought, yeah, I know what I'm doing, I'm a natural. It just seemed really freeing. There seemed no rules or regulations. It was just like you going out on stage and saying, this is what I'm going to do. But it wasn't long at all from the dress to the stage. The first time was always strange because in your mind you have an image of what it's going to be like. You don't really remember it. It's almost like you're another person or having an out of body experience, you just do it and before you know it, it's over. I think mum and dad were a little bit kind of, they didn't know what to do at first, just because it was so alien to them. I remember showing them one of my very first early performances, looking back on it, I shouldn't really have played it to them because it probably was a bit raunchy and racy. And I remember mum just looking at it and saying, hmm, that's gonna take a bit of getting used to. Drag doesn't make me feel nervous, um, totally the opposite, it makes me feel empowered. It allows me to express certain parts of myself that I wouldn't necessarily express as a boy. I've always had a really good reaction. People are normally like, oh my God, we love it, we love it, you know, can we have a photo? Anything negative that comes, I just kind of deflect it because I can't be bothered to deal with it. I'm quite um, a strong person anyway, quite strong-willed. Comments do hurt. Uh, you can brush them off, but you always remember them. I've had people boo me in the early days. I've had people tell me that I'm crap. Yeah, it's not been very nice, but you learn from those experiences as well. The reason I started doing drag was because I didn't feel good about myself as Richard. That was almost became like a safety net and a way of protecting myself and feeling good about myself. It's important to, to realise it's a character. Without me, without Richard, Cookie wouldn't be here. So the most important person is Richard. Drag is endless. Drag is possibilities. Drag is, um, drag is what you want it to be. So if you're at home watching this and you're thinking, I want to be a drag queen, go towards it. Go towards it with everything you've got and jump off the cliff. Take that power, take that inner strength, paint it on your face, dress it up, stick a wig on it and go out there and be fabulous.